Uh, good afternoon. Today is May the 15th, 2020. Um, I am still keeping a journal of everything that is going on and has been happening since I've taken office. And today I am really excited to to say that things are finally working out after all this time. This has been a, um, a long journey. Uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve the city in which I live in. I am really excited that the community had so much faith in me to put me in this position of power. It has not been easy. Um, no way uh, throughout this whole situation. But I am happy to say that finally the pieces are finally coming together. I had a talk with um, Allegheny Health Network about testing in our community for the COVID virus for immediate response for now. But I'm hoping that this will begin the conversation for us to have a relationship around the needs of the community, especially when it comes to health providers and health concerns in the city that haven't been met in decades. So I'm hoping that this is a start. I talked to the foundation about, you know, funding for projects in the city as well as the county. I don't know what it is. This uh this coronavirus, COVID-19. It um it has certainly impacted people and their lives and have have them acting differently now. Um one thing for certain, two things for sure, is that this virus did not care what political party you were. It didn't care what race or religion you are. It has impacted us all. And it has really made you appreciate life. It's something that I can say it has done. And I am really excited, you know, about the possibilities coming here. Some of the projects that we had started before the pandemic um, are still coming through because the funding was already allocated. So that is, I wanna say the best thing that I've heard yet. I am hoping to uh, establish a relationship with a couple of the other foundations that I've been having conversations with um, about the city. I've been in touch with uh, Allegheny Conference, really talking to people, sending emails about our community, because I still think we deserve better. We, uh, uh, the children didn't ask to come here, and the older people who have, they've did their, they've done their job, and I, and I still think that they deserve a better quality of life. And you know, when I grew up, children were children. We were playing. It was, it was a real community. Right now, you look at children who were like five, six, seven. They're walking around with the weight of the world on their shoulders. And that isn't what they should be trying to do with their life. So uh, I'm really excited about things finally coming, um, the pieces of the puzzle finally coming together. I did um, today an international talk with uh, Nigeria um, the World Trade Organization. This is unbelievable. Like this is the city of Duquesne. I uh, had a conversation with the food bank, and uh, I do want to say uh, I appreciate everything that is done for our community here. Um, I did have a talk with the food bank, and you know we made national news, and all of that looks great. But at the end of the day, my people in the community don't have cars. So they could not sit in that line and go through it and receive, you know, the two packages of food that everybody else was doing because they don't have cars. And um, then when you talk about uh, the food bank was really nice about uh, you can call up and you can come on down and pick it up. Well, there's no bus. There's no transportation to take you from the railroad tracks on the side all the way back up into the city to go home. So that's not beneficial either. Um, plus we have the scarcities of the funds as well with the pandemic going on. So, uh, 
I do want to thank the food bank for reaching out and um, listening to my concerns as the mayor and partnering with the uh, Take Action Mon Valley because we do have a Duquesne branch in case anyone wants to participate. We also have a Put People's First Mon Valley that you can participate in as well. And that's lobbying for legislation regarding health care and uh, also with the Urban League of Pittsburgh. So we do have some different venues for individuals who need assistance. And if you need some phone numbers or anything, please hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or just give me a call at 412-216-3799. I'll be more than happy to share any information um, that comes our way. We had uh, Lee Davis, uh, consultant, who donated 200 face masks to the city of Duquesne. Um, that was with our 424 clothing and there was another um, organization where um, we received um, face masks that were distributed on uh, Grant Street to our youth who were walking around uncovered as, as well as to the churches in the community, which was great. Uh, Lee Davis reached out to me again and uh, I went out to the warehouse by the airport and today picked up um, boxes of chips from Frito-Lays. They had 150,000 boxes, I, cases, I do believe. Um, so I did go out there, uh, dropped off some supplies at the uh, fire department, as well as the police department for the city of Duquesne, and also uh, to some households that I know have four or more children um, at it. Um, um, if you have someone, I do have like four boxes still in my garage. So if you have someone that may need them, please give me a call. Um, I'm not going to eat them. Um, I did pick them up to give to the community. So if you need something, just let me know. Um, but I'm just saying things are finally coming together. And I don't know. I just can't wait to see the end results of what our community is going to look like. And, uh, I do say, um, my mom used to say, if God is for you, who is against you? And uh, he is an on-time God. He may not come when you want him, but he will definitely be there on time. So no weapon formed against me will ever prosper. I tell you that much for sure. Um, we're just going to keep on pushing. And uh, brighter days is ahead of us. Trust and believe.